Alright, so check out this Nico. Uh, except I've got the gas off because it was just flaming out the top and I was trying to get a sense of what was burning. So the gas is off, you can see what's burning. Sorry, stay back John, you're good. You can see what's burning is the spindles. So this new burgers, this, uh, this brand has gone to new burgers and there's a higher fat content. And these Nikos have got to be cleaned out more frequently because the amount of fat... Let me see if I can get the light to come on now. There you go. So if you just look at the fat coating that spindle, I mean, it's just going to go up with the right amount of heat. And that's what's going on. Alright, so crazier is... So the flames were shooting out of this um, because the fire was just in there. Flames are shooting out of this. These hoods were cleaned yesterday. I mean, look how clean they are. They were cleaned yesterday. And still, the flames touching that up there was enough to ignite a grease fire. Uh, it stayed right there, but with the hoods blowing air in, it just kept magnifying. There's a fuse link for the ANSYL system right behind it that left to its own devices in short time would have set off this ANSYL system and we'd have been closed. So we got the hoods dead, wiped that little bit of grease that was lit off. Um, we're good. So, but looking back at where we started, right, this, and this gets cleaned pretty regularly, but the new burgers are just a lot of grease. A lot of grease. They up the fat content, so that's what's different. So it's a nice, juicier burger, but it's harder on the equipment. So we got to get on a more disciplined, uh, frequent cleaning schedule. 